Now let's make some noise for Sharon Graham, the General Secretary of Unite the Union. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, and thank you, friends. I bring a clear message from thousands of workers in Unite who have led over 300 disputes in a matter of months, covering 52,000 workers. Now is the time for action. And to those workers still on strike, from our bin workers in Coventry to our reps in Caterpillar, we stand with you. Make no mistake, we stand with you. Solidarity. It's important for us to talk about why we need action and why we need it now. Well, workers know the hard truth that once an employer chooses the path of confrontation, moral arguments and round tables are not going to change one damn thing. And let's be clear. It's employers that choose that path of confrontation, not workers. They choose it every time they fire and rehire workers. Every time they get rid of good jobs. Every time they decimate our communities. And every time that they choose to close final salary pension schemes. Well, no more. The trade union movement has to now be reborn. We've got to come and be reborn. They might call it the summer of discontent. We call it the summer for fighting for jobs and decent pay. <laughs> Friends, workers are being lined up to take the hit for this crisis, a crisis not of their making. And at the same time, we are being conned, we're being lied to, we've been taken for a ride by the rich and the powerful. But we're not going to allow it. How dare the governor and the Bank of England call for pay restraint, but ignore huge profits. We will not be doing it. I just want to talk a little bit, friends, about the wall of silence that's going on, about profiteering. And I think we need to call it out right now. We're in negotiating rooms and we're hearing it. But let's hear the truth. The profit margin of the FTSE 350, the biggest companies in Britain, have gone up by 70% since before the pandemic. And I'm going to repeat it because it's important for us to know it. The biggest companies in Britain, their profit margin has gone up by 70 percent since before the pandemic. It's not wages putting up inflation, it's profits. So deal with that, Prime Minister, before you come after workers' pay. Yeah. Friends, friends, we need a national conversation. The economy is not working for everyday people. Politicians have failed. They do not represent the interests of workers. That is why we must now take action ourselves. We are not going to get change by lobbying in Westminster. The only way we're going to get change is by doing this ourselves. So friends, let our heroes be in number. Let them be the collective. This is what matters now and we cannot forget it. The baton has been passed on to us. Workers and their communities are watching. So it's time to stand on our own two feet. Stop apologising. Be proud of who we are. And do our job and fight for working people. Solidarity. Thank you, Sharon.